Hi, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll discuss how to fix a jarashi rice cooker that's not turning on. Watch the video until the end to learn how to do this and more. First, ensure that your rice cooker's fuse isn't blown. To do this, unplug the appliance from the wall outlet and remove the fuse from the three-pronged plug. Measure the continuity of the plug and replace the fuse if the ammeter yields an infinity symbol for the test. If you don't have an ammeter, test the appliance with a functional fuse from another appliance with similar power ratings, such as a kettle. Replace your rice cooker fuse if the appliance turns on when using the other fuse known to be functional. Next, check the continuity of the thermal switch at the bottom of the cooker. To do this, unscrew the bottom cover of the rice cooker and remove it. Locate the thermal switch fuse and test its continuity. The fuse is usually thermally insulated, making it easy to locate. Replace the switch if it's faulty and reassemble your rice cooker. So, there you have it. Fixing a Zorushi rice cooker that's not turning on is that simple. Thanks for watching. Till next time.